Karen. How are you? <laughs> well, I I feel great today. What about you? Pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> ah, you look nice too. I like Thanks. Your, your oh yeah, yeah. Style. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> ah, you look nice too. I like Thanks. Your, your oh yeah, yeah. Style. Wonderful. So, what are we gonna talk about today? Yeah, uh, we are going to talk about a song that I really like so much. You know, awesome. the song okay. is um, Homegrown Honey. Oh, it's Homegrown Honey. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Okay. Can you repeat the, the what is it? Oh, please? the pronunciation? Sure. I said Homegrown Honey. Yay. I love it. <laughs> okay. Homegrown. Homegrown yes. Honey. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, so it's a country song. Mm -hmm. It's a country song. So I like the rhythm. So I find a uh, new uh, new five words for me, you know, when I, when I was um reading the lyrics and practicing the song, mm -hmm. I found these new five words. So that I I would like to share okay. uh, the words I discovered. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see it. Okay, okay. So yeah, so this is the title, Homegrown Honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. So the first, um, yeah, so the first uh, word I found was mm -hmm. homegrown. It's a negative. Um, the meaning of this adjective is grown or produced in one's own garden or country. Mm -hmm. um, number two, uh, it says belonging to one's own particular locality or country. Okay. So yeah, that that word is was new for me, you know. For, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. the The other word I found was aimed. Uh, yeah, I, I have seen this word before in songs, mostly, you know. So when I when I research, uh, when, when I search about this word, mm -hmm. I find that this is um, this is an informal expression. Um, it, and, and this person or the article said, well, you are going to find this word when, in songs. Uh, for example, pop psalms, rock, um, rock psalms, rap psalms. So mm -hmm. it, it um, the, the article said, well, it's not good if you use it in a formal context because uh, this is informal speech. So mm -hmm. uh, the meaning of the uh, of this word is like, um, yeah, you, you can find it with uh, negative um, expressions. For example, right. to say isn't, aren't, mm -hmm. haven't. Mm -hmm. So, for example, ain't nobody. So, ain't nobody, it, it would mean, it would be there isn't no anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's, and it's a contraction. That's what I it's a contraction for, and the contraction of is not. So, which is isn't, mm -hmm. but you know, colloquially okay. they say ain't rather than isn't, ain't. Thanks. Okay. Um, oh, I found this um, a phrase in the song. You know, you shake it down to your roots. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I like that phrase. You know, you shake it down to your roots. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I. What does shake it mean? down in Spanish? Yeah, mm -hmm. in Spanish, it would be like sacudir, okay. sacudir <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you shake it down to your roots. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, like um, I don't, I, I don't know how exactly what would be the meaning in Spanish. I have um, the idea in English. You know? Okay, what do you think it is in English? Like down um, to your roots. Yeah, that I I can imagine that this person, or oh, you know, is uh, it's moving her body or something like that. You know, she, she's moving 
all her baddies. Oh, okay. Like that. <laughs> oh, that's good because I was thinking that it might mean going back to your original being, you know, or or your place of originality, your country of birth or something. Say you're living abroad, and then the way you're moving is reminding people of where you're from. You know, so okay. either could be good. So we're coming up with meanings, <laughs> but that's okay. good. You know? <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's a good thanks, thought. Ruth. <laughs> sure. Okay, so the, on the pronunciation, it's like shake, shake down, right? Shake uh -huh. and not shake. Right. You it's know, so like you're telling shake. someone, shake. Yeah, shake it down mm. to your roots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job with the pronunciation. <laughs> things okay oh this is another new word i when i saw it i you know what was that i i thought yeah i i didn't know about this word uh, -huh. uh sip mm -hmm. uh, um the noun means a small mouthful of liquid but okay. i also yeah um, you told me that yeah that this is um it, it can have a another meaning you know for example in that in this context, in the mm -hmm. in this uh, phrase, I'll take a sip of that smile. So this uh, phrase is from the psalm. So oh, I'll yeah, take yeah, yeah. a sip of that smile. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. For me, it's like um, this person likes uh, uh, so much her smile. So mm -hmm. maybe he he wants um, her to smile again, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay um yeah so okay here i put the this um part of the song mm -hmm. so i i know that uh, uh, a great singer i'm not a singer at all I but i'm going sing. to you know i'm going to sing this part <laughs> yes. um let's yeah, hear so it let's see. okay <laughs> okay it says I did the way that you move, you shake it down to your roots. Did your mama teach you how to do that thing you do? Yeah, nothing sweeter than wild. I'll take a sip of that smile. I bet the boys at the home. Okay, no, don't. <laughs> I know that to keep <laughs> singing. Good. I'm so it's, bad at this. <laughs> no, it's good, Danny. I just wanted to point out a few things. Um, mm -hmm. Did your mama teach you, you know? If you think of it as mom, ah, did your mama teach you? And then okay. also when you said, I'll take a sip of your smile, you said, I'll take a sip of your smile, but you need to contract it. So you uh, listen mm -hmm. to the rhythm and the tone. And instead of saying a sip of, he said a sip of, I'll take a sip of your smile. Okay, something like the, uh, I take a sip of that smile. I'll take a sip, sip of your smile. Yeah, sip, sip of. <laughs> like making okay. words, sip of your smile. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> um, what about these? Um, wait a sec. Okay, so you tell me mom, like a, a mom A, right? Mom. 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 Yeah. Mama. Okay. Did your mama, okay. mama. Did mama Did teach you how mama. to do that thing you do? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing. Instead of thing, even though it is thing, he's pronouncing it thang. That's that southern twang. <laughs> so it teach you how to do that thang you do. Thang. Okay. He uh, said it like an A. Instead of ing, mm -hmm. he said ang. So that oh. thang. <laughs> That thing, uh, you do. thing you do. Okay, but that belongs to you know this um because of his accent or or mm -hmm. it's in general in. Um. Okay. In, so yeah, mostly like southern accents, people would say "fang" instead um, of "thing." Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Ruth. I learned so much. So oh, thank good. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I did too from your observations. Thank you too. <laughs> okay, so now. Okay, so I'm done. I'm finished. Yes. You're finished. <laughs> okay, so let me share my um, song with you. And okay. 
And now we'll switch to my target language, which is Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am terrible at this, but let's see. Okay. Hoy vamos a aprender inglés usando letras de canciones. La canción que usaré es Caraluna de Basilis. Una de las principales cosas en las que quiero trabajar es en mis habilidades de pronunciación para poder sonar como un hablante nativo. Ese es todo nuestro objetivo, ¿verdad? Así es, Ruth. That's right. Una de las cosas que hacen los hablantes nativos es unir sus palabras. Y, um, y la razón por la que los nativos suenan de manera diferente es la separación de palabras que produce un sonido entrecortado. Ok. Practica sacar tus R's en cada oportunidad. Por ejemplo, ruide su R en la palabra radio y observe el cambio ritmo en las palabras cada y canción. Um, in the song it says, en la canción dice uh, cada canción. And <laughs> instead of cada canción, es cada canción. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, deja que la musicalidad del idioma brille. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Deja que. Well, ¿sí? uh, si buscas cognados, verás tu vocabulario es más extenso de lo que pensabas. Uh, por ejemplo, por favor. Ok. Uh, eh, inspiración. We have this word, inspiración. Inspiration. Sí. Mm -hmm. Promesa. Promise. Escapando. Escape. Promesa. Oh, uh, well, again, promise yeah. of <laughs> Boss. A voice. Mm -hmm. Intuición. In intuition. Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay. Gracias. That's a great word. Intuición. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> Aquí está la stanza favorita de la canción. Puede buscar okay. la canción completa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like to sing it? <laughs> yeah, oh. please. You have a great voice. Go ahead. Um, no me recuerda. No me recuerdo. Okay, okay. Okay, let me sing it. So you, yeah. So okay. it says... Mientras siga viendo tu cara en la cara de la luna, mientras siga escuchando, escuchando tu, voz. tu voz. Entre las horas, entre la espuma, mientras mm. tenga que cambiar mientras la que radio, cambiar la de estación, porque cada canción me hable de ti, de ti, de ti, me hable de ti. <ríe> oh, yeah, great. <ríe> Yeah, I listened to this song the first time when I was 11 years old. Oh, and wow. Yeah, it was one of my early songs when I was a child. Oh, me gusta. Me gusta yeah. también. Okay, that's yeah. it for me. Oh, great. Thanks, Ruth, um, mm -hmm. for sharing what you learned in uh, about this um, song. Por so, <laughs> Is that right? Do okay. I say por supuesto? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Awesome. <laughs> okay.